Uh, we have an important health headline. There are many different types of breast cancer, as you know. One is called triple negative breast cancer. You may never have heard of it unless you or someone you know was diagnosed with it. I had never heard of it until I was diagnosed in 2007. But today is triple negative breast cancer awareness day. We are shining a light on it with the help of our good friend, Dr. Christy Funk, Angelina Jolie's surgeon and the co-founder of the Pink Lotus Breast Center. And she joins us this morning from Los Angeles. Always great to see you, Dr. Funk, and thank you so very much for this. As we said, there are many different types of breast cancer. This affects about 10, 20%. Can you just tell us exactly what triple negative is? Sure. Well, there are three receptors, like little antennas that we look for on a cancer cell. About 75% have estrogen and progesterone receptors, meaning these hormones hit the receptor and then fuel the cancer to multiply and divide. The third, HER2, is a growth factor found in 25%. But if your tumor lacks all three of these receptors, we term it triple negative. It's like you check, 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 none of the, uh, you can't check any of the boxes, so that is triple negative. Who is most at risk for this particular type of breast cancer? The most prevalent population is a BRCA1 mutation carrier, an African American, Latinas, and women under 40. And why is it important to you, Dr. Funk, to bring attention to this? And, and for, as we said, today is Triple Negative Breast Cancer Awareness Day. Why is that so important? Well, it's important because triple negatives, when taken as a group, have the worst survival rates of any other subtype of breast cancer. They have the highest recurrence rates and the worst survival rates with the mean recurrence at 2.8 years after diagnosis. Yes, when you hear things like that and, and, and it's the recurrence, so what is the treatment, what is available right now? Well, for the cancer in your breast, we treat that with surgery and radiation. But what about that rogue cell that might be flying around in your bloodstream? That's the real trigger that causes recurrence in an organ like liver or lung that you cannot live without. So if you had a receptor, say for estrogen, we could target that receptor mm. with tamoxifen. If you had a HER2, we have a drug for that. But with triple negatives, it's like this naked cell flying around with no target on its back at all. So our only recourse to sort of seek and destroy it is chemotherapy. And once that's done, a triple negative cancer patient just sort of, there's no pill to take. We just sort of sit back and hope and wait it doesn't recur. Uh, and, and it's really tricky those first five years in particular, right, Dr. Funk? Well, it's tricky, but if you make it to your fifth year anniversary with no sign of recurrence, there are high, high hopes for the Robin Roberts in this <laughs> world because it is a very rare event for triple negatives to recur after five years. In fact, they now become the group of cancers that do the best with the longest survival. That is extremely encouraging. And part of the reason why you wanted to join us there, there's some work that you've been doing, some clinical research, and, and just tell us the, the good news that, uh, on this front. There's exciting news. So the Pink Lotus Breast Center in Los, Angel in Los Angeles is launching Synvenio's triple negative breast cancer trial today, and it's soon to be nationwide. This is a test, a simple blood test, aiming to detect recurrence easily and early at a po point where we can intervene and still cure you. It, the blood test is uh, one of two things. We look at NK view, which is natural killer cells, they're a sign of immune function. And the other one is called clear ID. It looks at circulating tumor cells. An early trial in London with just 55 patients recently showed that when your natural killer cells drop and your tumor cells go up, this will predict a recurrence eight and a half months prior to it being detectable mm. by imaging like a PET or CT. So now we have this window, an opportunity for patients and their doctors to strategize and maybe get at a cure before a deadly recurrence oh, that, happens. That, that is so key. And what do you want to say to those that are you know, waking up this morning and they, are, they are concerned about their health and they have been just diagnosed with this? What is your message to them? Well, I'd love for you to contact us. Just email study at pinklotusbreastcenter.com. We will get you in touch with the people running this study, and hopefully we can stave off that recurrence. I hope so. Dr. Funk, always a pleasure. Thank you for your tireless Thanks, efforts and the work that you're doing. Keep in touch. Thank you. Thanks.